to my channel and to another vlog I'm sorry about the noise in the background but it is early morning we're getting ready for work and school and there's just a lot going on but I definitely had to come and start the vlog because I feel like if I didn't do it now it won't get done so hello again um, if you are a new subscriber hi my name is Nakwaya and this is my little corner of the internet where I basically just share my life you know nothing overly exciting just regular life you know regular mom stuff intentional living um quiet living um and yeah brooklyn living um if you're a returning subscriber thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate you guys coming back each and every week to watch um so yeah let's get this vlog going So it is Tuesday morning and the weather today is looking so promising so I'm quite excited about that. I had to tie up my hair even though last time you guys would have seen I kind of blow dried it and everything it was great but literally the wind yesterday just like blew everything away like if you're a natural hair girly then you know wind and straight hair don't go together and that was my dilemma yesterday but it's fine because I ended up booking a hair appointment for Thursday today is Tuesday so I'm gonna get that done on Thursday and then I can at least go into the weekend with like great looking hair and I think the weather over the weekend is gonna be quite good so that's great um, what do I have coming up this week and what you'll maybe see on this vlog um, I don't know if I'll take you guys to my hair appointment because you guys have seen that I feel like it's it's the same thing um, I'm also going it's a bit of a maintenance week for me, so I'm getting my nails done this... Maybe not my nails. I want to get my nails done this week. I don't know if I'll have time. Um, and then I'm getting my brows done, so maybe that I'll take you guys along for. And I had told you guys that I wanted to do laser. I'm trying to see if I can get an appointment for maybe this weekend and get that going. Um, but yeah, and I still have not taken in my never full bag. I don't know if I put that footage in where I was saying that I need to get my bag clean. I might do that this week as well. So, um, lots of like mundane little errands to run. Um, but you know what? We're here. We're blessed and we're grateful for every little mundane moment. Um, so yeah, anyway, just starting the vlog. No more rambling. I um, hope you guys have a good day and I'll catch up with you guys later. Hi guys. Um, oh my gosh. So I I know I look crazy. Like it's just so much happening right now. So I just got home and literally as I was walking up to my block, I see fire trucks. Now I live number one in New York City and there are a lot, a lot of old buildings in New York City that aren't always renovated timelessly and so a lot of the wiring and stuff in a lot of buildings is old so that's already like a fire risk period and number two I live in Brooklyn which if you guys are familiar has a lot of like these brownstone these old kind of homes and a lot of them also are like huge you know basically fire risks so I see the fire trucks going up and I was on the phone with my husband I think we were, no, I was on the phone with him, we weren't on FaceTime, and I start panicking because I'm like, at this point, I'm like three blocks away, but I can clearly see that them fire, the fire trucks are like parking on my block, and I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, is it our house? I start panicking. Um, I literally, in that moment, was like so grateful that my son is at school, so I was like, in that moment, I was like, if it's our house, you know what, it's fine, my child is not there we're not there so you know that's perfectly fine um, and as I get closer I realized that the fire is on the other side of the street and it was blazing like a full-on inferno okay and it was those dark orange type of flames which if I remember correctly I think I saw this somewhere where it said like these dark orange flames are like like indicative of like a electrical fire and so I got up here like the entire street and I'll put some footage in here if I have some the entire street is filled up with fire trucks. The firefighters are battling this fire. They managed to get most of it out, but 
I think it was an electrical fire maybe because um, they're basically pulling apart the walls of this house because it's burning within the walls um, so they are literally still at it like what I don't know what time it is now but like it's been a minute like I was outside for a good maybe 15 minutes um, it's it's actually it, it was quite scary but it was also quite sad because we I know the man that lives in that house like not know him know him but like he's a neighbor so we've definitely said hi he drives like this old white van and he's like an older man with like with the white hair like completely white head of hair like grandpa vibes um and so i feel really bad because when i stood outside one of the ladies said he was actually inside the house and they had to bring him out um they had to bring him out and he was trying to get back inside and so that was just so okay I think that's from the outside so that was just so sad because I'm like literally I'm sure like a lot of people in this neighborhood have lived here for years for years like I know that before my building was bought up and renovated and removed in here um, the lady we, we had met her she had lived in this building for 28 years so that was really sad because that is literally someone's life it's a lifetime and I know that it can't be easy try like if I show you guys what they're doing to this house to like contain that fire it's just devastating and they're just throwing things out which of course I understand they have to but just you know from the other side looking at it if that was your place and your stuff it's hard it's hard and so I was actually waiting downstairs for one of the reps from our block association to see if there's anything we can do to help but he had crossed over and I think maybe to go look for that neighbor to see if maybe like he's fine and stuff so I'll probably just drop them an email later to see if there's anything we can help with I just feel so so sad that that happened um, so sad um, crazy crazy um, and that's crazy because the reason I was actually gonna come on here was to unbox something with you guys but I think I'll do that later I think I just want to take a beat like calm down it was a lot it didn't even happened to me and I felt like it was a lot and to be fair I think that's one of the reasons I we moved to this neighborhood is we wanted to have that sense of community um, and seeing that like just from the interactions we've had with our neighbors which aren't like super intense or in depth but like we do have a good rapport with them and just seeing that was really hard so anyway guys let me not make this a very like sad moment even though it is um yeah i'm gonna quickly change and hopefully um I can come back and do this unboxing that I want to show you.
I know we're supposed to live in a gray Leave it to chance or leave it to fate But I'm missing you Pull me in closer Can we start over? Hello you guys, what is up? So I am <clears throat> back home I just sat down quickly and I'm supposed to be going on a little lunch date with my man who's still on his way here so I thought I'd quickly sit down and do some unboxing with unboxings with you guys um, but before I do that oh I did note that I didn't show you guys the final product with my brow like threading and tinting situation so this is what it looks like the complete product or the, like the final look um, it looks a little bit dark the first day, but that's fine. It usually tones down the second day But like if I did for example have to go somewhere today Once you put on a full face of makeup it blends right right in because you don't have to do anything You don't add extra like brow powder or anything like that um, This is the look this is perfect. It lasts me like the color lasts about two weeks ish because I wash my face obviously twice a day um, so it tends to wash out um, but the shape lasts me maybe a month at like by a month like four weeks is when it starts to kind of grow out a little bit but Not this man trying to have ramen for lunch, okay <laughs> Anyway, so yeah um, I've been going to the same place in Midtown for maybe going on four years, 2020, 2021, Oh no, going on five years. I started going there in 2020 post pandemic when everything opened up and I've just stuck with, with the place, which reminds me I need to text the owner because she did text me to ask how everything went. It was Um, but yeah, I've been going there for so long now and even before that when I was in Namibia, maybe I did struggle a little bit because I There was one lady who used to thread, but I don't know. I just didn't like that place too much I don't know. It wasn't the service. It was maybe just the vibe of the place I don't know, but then when I was in Cape Town in school, I did used to go to a place called Eye candy um as well so I love a good thread I don't like waxing my brows I don't like plucking them threading is the way to go anyway that being said I did want to do a couple of unboxings with you guys I did speak to you guys about this earlier this week oh before I get into the unboxings guys um, there have been so many incidences of like crime in the city of late like just random things like I like literally yesterday on I don't know if it was no it definitely wasn't the same train that I would have taken but it was the same station same platform um, someone literally got shot in the train car like it was a whole fight situation someone ended up getting you know and I was just like wow because I think that was a couple of hours maybe like an hour or so before me um so i would have been in that train you know but i did I, I stayed at work much longer yesterday and then recently also um yeah there's just been like random incidents i saw someone getting like mugged i saw today someone was mugged off their laptop at knife point like in manhattan like downtown which Again, it's just so wild. Like, all these increased incidences of, like, random crime is just crazy. Um, so I'm actually thinking of getting a pepper spray. I want to see if I can go buy that tomorrow. I don't know if there are any places in Brooklyn. I know of a place in Manhattan, but I just have never gotten the chance to go there. Um, I think because of state laws and stuff like that, you actually can't have pepper spray shipped to you in certain ways. And, like, for my address, when I put it in, it wouldn't ship to me so I physically have to go in the store I definitely need to do that tomorrow but let's get into this unboxing so the first thing that I do want to show you is this pair of shoes these are a pair of Jordans I guess Jordan flight I don't know nothing about sneakers my husband got me these because he saw them and I really like the colorway so I thought 
why not so I've actually opened them up so I know what they look like um, but this is what the shoe looks like I think it's gorgeous um, it's like a retro I think they call it the retro or like vintage age or I don't know something like that but it's got the gold over here and I just love the colors you guys know I'm a neutral girly so I don't like you know sneakers that have way too many colors I'm about this life right here so love this shoe um, I don't know that I'll wear it anytime soon honestly I need to figure out an outfit for it because I'm like getting into my sneaker bag so I'm like learning and like you know trying out like different kind of sneaker vibe outfits because I've always been just a girl's girl never been a sneaker girl so I'm kind of getting into it because like my husband he's into sneakers and he sometimes see these sees these and they're like in the women's section and he's like babe that would look so good on you so he buys them for me I have another pair back there that he bought me last year that I still literally have not worn so this is it opening for you guys I did not even know about it so a friend or colleague of my sister is in town for some meetings and she had actually sent me some stuff I did not know I thought I was just giving him some stuff for her but turns out that she had sent me some stuff as well so I'm interested to see what she sent me because this is like my sister obviously older and so kind of like what she's like the things she knows about me are like not, not too many people know so it's like I guess it's like oops, snacks and stuff like just randomly <laughs> okay okay we're gonna unbox this so she got me rooibos tea I I always ask for rooibos tea if I find someone who's willing to bring it for me it's like my one of my favorite teas like I love a good tea but rooibos is just for me like that classic tea that I always want to have at home um, for any moment and then I have this Woolies tea um, this is apple cranberry and cinnamon or cinnamon apple cinnamon and cranberry um, my husband and I my husband and I both like this tea um, so we always have it on deck I think we have at least two unopened boxes because we just never know so we always stock up on it this is another Woolies tea chamomile lavender and vanilla I love a good chamomile tea also a fave. Um, oh, this is also one that I like, a ginger root tea. <laughs> like my sister knows that I like these teas, so. And then she got me some breakfast biscuits. Again, <laughs> I'm a biscuit person. And she got me some more biscuits. These are like shortbread. Eat some more biscuits. If you know, you know. And then y'all <laughs> nuts and raisins I love these you guys but it's one of those small things that like it's like a snack that I really enjoy but it's not like I'm, I'm not like oh sending anyone to buy me these from Namibia and bring them here but you know my sister looked out for me so she sent me these because I am obsessed with these in my life so that is fun that's like a little good treat love that um so that's my little unboxing situation um i'll put in some footage um to, that i got today when i was walking um on my way home i had to like you know pick this stuff up in fidei the financial district and while i was there i realized that i have never done any of the tourist things in fidei like the raging bull trinity church at wall street none of that which is crazy because like I one of my favorite movies is National Treasure and if you've watched National Treasure like the, a lot of the movie is set around Wall Street like a lot of the scenes so like I've always been obsessed with that but I have not gone Raging Bull the line was literally down the way of people take the pictures like my tip for that is literally go early in the morning no one's there but like once like 7 38 hits like the lines are super long. I've definitely driven past the bull, like in an Uber or car or whatever, but I've just never gone to take a picture with a bull. Like, I, I don't need to. 
But yeah, I was just thinking that. Hi. <coughs> yeah, I was just thinking that I've actually never gone specifically. Why am I for the bowl? Um. So yeah. So I am home now. Waiting for this guy to come. This guy being my husband to come so we can go get lunch. I also didn't fully show you guys my hair. I went and got it done um not yesterday, day. Was it yesterday? Oh it was yesterday. I had it done yesterday. Um and I feel like she's grown a little bit longer, just a little bit longer, which I don't mind. Like I'm working to grow her out because I feel like silk press season is literally just during spring, like so like now to like April, May. So by like June, that New York humidity is gonna hit and my hair is gonna poof up like this. So then I'm just gonna do braids over the summer. So I'm kind of enjoying it now and I don't mind if it grows out, like maybe in, in the fall, I'll cut it again. So yeah, um, went and got it done. So she's rocking her little bob situation. Um, yeah, I know I did show you guys when I was doing it over the weekend but what happened was the next day it was so windy out that like my blowout was blown out and so I was just like no I'm not doing all of that again I'm going to the salon so I did so yeah guys I am um... you know what I'm gonna have some of this stuff I was gonna pack it away but... why not have a little cheeky biscuit so beautiful time is what makes it ugly but time after time and through every turn in this life i could use some stability we fly and we fall but we don't fall apart break after break each piece of my heart Lovers have come and lovers have gone But you still feel like right when the whole world feels wrong They say history repeats itself But memories for the shelf Well, I replay the moments and years of pop lives
just kind of got up and are going through, you know, the motions of the morning. Um, and I'm about to, what's it? Oh gosh, it's already eight. Okay, it's already past eight. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly make us some food to eat for breakfast because then we have to like get ready, get in the car and take our son to his swimming classes. And then I think we might be going to Jersey today. I don't know if that's confirmed or not. Babe? Babe? Yeah? Are we still doing Jersey? Oh, no, no. Well, not to, uh, message. Well, not to thing either because she's, she's working. Okay. So, okay. So we're not doing Jersey and then I did tell you guys that I wanted to get a pepper spray this weekend and I've been struggling to find any in Brooklyn. I don't know why Target had said they had them but I'm not finding them in the Target that is near me. Um, I think we might even then just take this little guy quickly to the park as well on our way back. Pepper spray. I'm looking on the Target app. I mean, they say they have them. They literally don't sell them in any of the Brooklyn stores. So I don't know, I'll probably have to look somewhere else, which is so annoying because I really wanted to get it. And I really don't want to go into Manhattan this weekend just because there is a, what is it called? St. Patrick's Day Parade in the city today. And they block off all of Fifth Avenue for a good 20 to 30 blocks. So like it makes driving quite difficult. But we're here. <laughs> Sunday afternoon and literally fully in mom mode me and my little me are at home I'm about to start um, making dinner um, and then like just hopefully fold up some stuff hey pal 
um so i will be making um what are we, i'll be making just like i probably do like a goat meat stew with some sweet potato nothing honestly fancy and then i'll make him just some pasta and um some ground beef or minced meat as we call it um so yeah i'm gonna do that with you guys and somebody wants to say hello to the camera Time I think you're gonna walk out of my door I start to jump to the conclusion You don't love me no more Babe, give me something to work with Can you just reassure? of this vlog because um, I realized that I, during the week I pretty much only pick up the camera like in the evening when I get back from work or like in the early mornings which is few and far in between so I have pretty much written this vlog off but then I got this delivery and if you guys can see it's from Andrea Iyama I don't know how you say that Iyama Iyama I don't know anyway I'm excited for this dress. I might even do a little try on for you guys because I'm actually really excited to see what this dress looks like. Okay, so this is the box. Um, I bought this maybe a week ago. So the shipping was quite fast. I expected it to take much, much longer. Um, it's a dress that I like from their collection. Um, the stuff is always a little, it's a bit pricey. I'm not even gonna lie, it's a bit on the expensive side. Um, but I enjoy her stuff so much. Um, so I decided to get this while it was on sale. 
Um, the only thing is that this is the dress, you guys. And I'll insert a picture somewhere on the screen so you guys get a feel for it. The only thing is that they didn't have this in my size. So I had to basically buy a bigger size. And I'm just going to get it tailored. Like I was like, I'm not letting this sale go. But who knows, I might just fit. So let's, let's try it on and you guys can let me know what you think. Okay guys, so funny story, guess who actually fits in the large? Me. Surprise, surprise. Um, I'm going to show you the dress now, but I'm going to try and get a full body. Oh, maybe not. But this is the dress, um, and I'm obsessed. These um, straps are actually removable. Hold on, I'm going to take them off because they're not giving. Or I could just tuck them in but they are removable i'm just tucking them now because that's easier do not mind my mirror you guys but well don't mind my mirror and the laundry that's on the floor but this is what the dress looks like sorry for this view but this is what it looks like so it's got this i don't know like Pleated, I don't know what you call it, fluted maybe, detailing thing, like it's like a little cape situation. I don't usually wear dresses this short, friends. I really don't, because mama's thighs be thighing, but I would make an exception for this. This is so cute. I love how this looks and how this sits here. I might need a better bra, but you know. And you know what I would pair this look with? Again, I'm going to just blur out my laundry in the background because I do feel like low-key someone's going to judge me. But I'm busy doing it. I am busy with the laundry. This mom is trying her very best to keep up with everything. But you know what this outfit would look so good with? Hold on. So I just grabbed these heels that are from... Uh, Ted Baker like I feel like this is one of those outfits that I don't think you need to pair with open toed sandals honestly like a nice closed palm oh something fell a nice closed palm closed toe palm honestly is everything I think I don't know um yeah hold on guys this look is giving okay but yes friends um this is the dress that i just got in i'm so excited to wear it um i think it's so cute the sleeve detail is so nice and it's actually really well constructed and it's like good material so i'm excited for that um but basically this is the end of the vlog um <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching Please do make sure that you are subscribed. Also click the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.